microphone. I just live in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Bleep. 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 Oh, to go. What's up, y'all? This is Pigeon John over here with the shaved mustache looking all fresh and shish. Banana Republic, homeboy. Representing, you are tuned in now to Moon Garden Media Podcast with my big homeboy, Steve Bader. Steve Bader. Moon Man back there. Well done. Let's hear it for the Moon Man. Thanks, Moon Man. Whoa, it's the bomb, homeboy. We'll do it live. All night. We're on the air. I got it. I was just sharing it. Ball night. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't do two things at the same time. Uh, so I need to do it, be more deliberate. So ball night, right? It's Cavs night. It is. Uh, we're excited about that. We'll talk about that toward the end of the show. Um, now, the last time we did this with Chef Dick was at Chop and Swizzle, and that's when we did the town hall. Remember the whole yes. big, yeah, that the was big, a good show. the big town hall show. All right. So let's share my. Uh, we I are made fun of you of that being able to do multiple things. From the cricket. As you see, I'm not doing very well. Uh, right now in three dot 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 two dot 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 one dot dot dot. Um, so, yeah, big night for you. It is. It's your on, on air broadcasting debut. Yeah, on the other side of the camera. So, that, that, this should be interesting. There's a whole new dynamic. Our, our show just got much better looking. <laughs> Thank you. So, Thank you. <laughs> uh, we went from uh, uh, bald and and, uh, and, and glasses to, to long blonde hair. So <laughs> let me post this. Got a hair lift? Maybe? Oh, a little hair lift. A little, um, so, yeah, I mean, last uh, I was out of town. I was in Cali all week. Looked like you ate well. I did eat ate well. very well. <laughs> it, 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 the one thing about my my day job boss is whenever we go out of town, he always makes sure that we eat at unique places, right? So that's the whole point. Um, but show went on without me. That's what show business is all about, right? We had a good show. We had a show we at, well. at LaBelle's, and it was um, it was with Buzz Andrews, so that was pretty cool. Um, he got a cut. I think he's sitting behind me right now somewhere. So um, Check that out. That Check was pretty cool. Uh, are we ready to do a show there, Moon Man? Yeah. Oh, oh, don't do that yet. We're not ready for that yet. The big <laughs> reveal is after we do the, we got to do our intros. We got a big reveal tonight. <laughs> Wait. We've got a great show tonight. <laughs> New handshake. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Akron's hottest and fastest growing show, 330 to go. I'm your host, Hank Forrester, coming to you live from the Cashmere Cricket, overlooking the Cuyahoga Falls River Square District. In tonight's episode, we feature all upcoming summer festivals and fun things to do around the 330, but before we do that, we'd like to introduce appearing live for the first time on air and making her broadcasting debut. Let's have a nice round of applause for Dina Marie. Live in the dream, Dina. Live in the Woo! dream. I'm just live in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Think together today. All right, your first live so, read. Here we go. Come on. Tonight's episode is brought to us by A Twist of Leona. They are an American comfort food truck with a southern twist. I'm trying to get that word right. Southern. Southern. Took you 25 minutes to get it. I had about 30 seconds here. <laughs> A fuse of soul, fu soul food and comfort food, taking recipes passed down through generations and adding a modern twist. With these recipes come traditions, so you will only find fresh and local sourced ingredients. You can find their whereabouts on streetfoodfinder.com. Yeah, and that goes for all the food trucks that we had out uh, to my house, which was a fantastic show. It's now the number one show that we have produced. So the food truck show is now number one. It took over the hop and bean and it has surpassed the beer show. Uh, but uh, the point is, streetfoodfinder.com, it tells you where all of the, uh, oh, there's Christine. There, we got some food for you over there. Um, it tells you where all the food trucks are uh, on a daily basis. So uh, I know that uh, uh, Square Scullery was pubbing that in terms of where to find them, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're, we're here at the Casimir Cricket. We're in Cuyahoga Falls. 
Uh, I've been told that, uh, you know, the crowd is huge tonight behind us, but I've been told that's normal on a Wednesday, especially when it comes to... <laughs> Cavs are playing. <laughs> when the Cavs are playing, the place is empty. But All right, but uh, the point is that we're, we're going to talk about the cricket in a little bit. But before we do that, our producer right now has promised us that we are going to investigate the Yanni and Laurel phenomenon. What? He has a uh, demonstration that is set up right now where he is guaranteeing that we'll be able to hear both, regardless of whether or not we, uh, we which team we are on. Which team we are on. We they, can, they can hear it. They can hear it. Laurel. Kitchen guys, can you hear, can you hear this? Are they waving? Are they waving? Okay. All right, here we go. Go for it. I'll be quiet. So right now, I hear Laurel. I hear Laurel. Did I hear Laurel? Laurel. 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 What? What do you hear right now? Yanni. No, you don't. He's saying here's Yanni. Laurel. There's an L. So right. (laughs) (laughs) She's hearing Yanni. We need we need comments. Wait. Wait. Go for it. I hear Laurel right now. Laurel. 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 Now you hear Laurel. 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 Now do you hear Laurel? I'm still hearing Laurel. I'm hearing Laurel. I'm hearing Laurel. All right. Now I hear a Y. Now I just heard Yanni. (laughs) Dude, what are you doing right now? (laughs) Laurel. Laurel. All right. Michelle uh, online is saying she hears Laurel. Laurel. Can you give me Yanni? Give me Yanni. 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 Yeah. Now I'm here, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. Neither. Neither. Come on, yeah. we guaranteed. We guaranteed yeah. that. We guaranteed. Yeah. What? Yeah. I hear Yanni now. I hear yeah. Yanni. Now you hear Yanni? I hear Yanni. Yeah. I can hear both now. Yeah. All right, so folks, he's altering the sound right now using yeah. his mixer. It's yeah. just changing the pitch. Yeah. Laurel. Now that's straight Laurel, Laurel. right there. Yeah. Yeah. And now I hear Yanni. All right, so enough of that. Uh, we need to just put that thing to bed. All right, so folks, here we are at the Cricket, and I want to tell you about the Cashmere Cricket. They're located right here in the heart of downtown Cuyahoga Falls. They're, it, this area is also known as the Falls River Square District, and if you haven't been down here, I'd like to encourage you all to make, make sure you stop by sometime in the next month or two. Uh, the place is fantastic now. I mean, I, I haven't been here in years. I used to, they used to do Rocking on the River. I know they still do. It's called something else now, but we'll get into that later. But yeah. the point is, uh, it's one of Akron's, it's consider, this is considered one of Akron's best neighborhood bars. Uh, they specialize in craft beers and cocktails in a speakeasy style lounge. You can see that all behind us right now. And it, it, they've got a bustling front bar and a relaxing front and back patio as well. The back patio is right here. They've got a nice wood deck out back. Uh, and you're sure to find a great spot to enjoy a drink. So right now, let's go ahead and talk about their menu, okay? So the, it, it, let me explain to you how this place works. It's a collaboration between the Casimir Cricket, which is the bar part, and then the food part. The kitchen is run by our friends at Chop and Swizzle. So Chef Dick is here somewhere running around, uh, but they make an entirely different menu than they do at Chop. So right now we're going to go over, uh, uh, Dean is going to go over that menu right now with us, and we'll talk a little bit about the food. The food was Tremendous! Amazing. Oh my gosh! They the brought, drinks weren't bad either. The drinks were bad either. But, but let's talk about the food. All right, you, so go ahead and go <laughs> over the menu, and then I'll tell them what we had. So they've got they've got a good mix of everything. They've got a cashmere salad. Ooh, firecracker shrimp tacos sound pretty good. Mm-hmm. Lobster roll, pork belly. Um, there's a cheeseburger and mac and cheese, but it's not a normal cheeseburger. Pickle spears, onions. Sounds more like a Southwest mixed with the cowboy. Um, potato skins. We uh, had what, some of those. What? Have you had this? Mixed South, with a cowboy. Have you had the Southwest? Bur- uh, we'll go into that. Mixed with a cowboy. I don't. Uh, the Southwest what? is the guacamole. Dude, what, have, what have we done? We're a minute into this thing. We got a woman on the show now. <laughs> this is kind of this changes the whole dynamic. <laughs> whole dynamic. Southwest Burger has the guacamole and the salsa, and the cowboy has the onion rings mix. Okay, got it. Mm, All right, moving on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's not used to sound effects where they're at her. Yeah, she's heard them before, before, but this is at her. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's let's play it safe. The chicken and waffles, the Reuben pop tarts. Okay. Stir fry, and then we get down to the dessert. So anybody who's ever even known me, the cheese the cheesecakes on here, banana s'more tart. What are you gonna go over? All right, so I'm going to tell you what we had, mm-hmm. okay? We had, uh, and I think there were tonight's, tonight's specials, folks. We're going to be on air here for another 45 minutes or so, uh, and they're going to be open until 10 or 11, I believe, right? I think they're open uh, past the Cavs game. 
point being, they're, they're special tonight. They got $3.30 tacos, and it's the tacos that we had. They okay? are good. So I had, <laughs> I had a steak taco and then a pork taco, and they were both tremendous, and they both had an individual unique taste to them. And then I had uh, stuffed, what was the pe- pepper, what was the potato? They were pork, but, but guacamole, no, twice No, it wasn't pork. Potato. It was, it was rib, uh, short rib. Short the rib. short rib, twice baked potato. Boy, was that incredible. And then we also had a Reuben Pop-Tart. Reuben Pop-Tart. Did you try that? It's in your belly. Beer, Kate sour, liked it. Kraut. It was good. It was good. Uh, it, yeah, we got you some food too. All right, so uh, yeah, so make sure you stop by the cricket. But right now, uh, Buzz Andrews is here live in studio as well. And Buzz is, we got some breaking news coming. It's not, we're not quite ready yet. We're not going to tell anybody yet. But within the next week or two, expect to hear some news on the hop and bean front. Uh, but Buzz is with us tonight. And right now, I'm going to just rip off the headset and take the mic on back and buzz is going to kind of walk us through because the neat thing about uh the cricket is it's also a craft beer bar as well in, in regards to the selections that they carry all right so let me hit the refresh button there all right so i'm gonna pull this right moon man just just walk right okay i'm going all right here we go just watch out for feedback because i'll be on the other side speaker all right a uh, big round of applause for buzz andrews everybody we think we got crickets <laughs> we got crickets <laughs> we got crickets all right so buzz uh now in traditional craft beer fashion you went ahead and you got what in the industry is referred to as a flight correct yeah. all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and yeah, i'm gonna hand the mic over to you and it's your show for a few minutes as we, we talk about you know what you've got coming up on the horizon whatever you're willing to share about that and then also uh, talk about the craft beers that are available here at the Cricket. Yeah, sure. So first of all, let me look at, like, I'll take you through my beer selection here. And as I look, and you go to uh, some of these places, and they have what they call craft beer on menu. And a lot of times, it's not, it's, it's an okay, decent selection. They do a really good job at having some really great craft beer selection. So, um, and, and most breweries will have a um, flight, but not a lot of craft beer bars that I've been to actually have flights. And, that's, and I, they, they have that here, so I was pretty excited about that. Pretty awesome. So they, um, when I, I look at some of their choices, they have Jack Yo's, which is out of Ohio, I believe, over Athens, somewhere around, um, around there. And they have a, um, a double IPA that I've never seen on draft anywhere. They have uh, the brand new uh, Six Point uh, Puff, which is on. I went ahead and got two of those. Uh, just because I, I know that like the last year that much, so I, I it's kind of uh, not um, the flight uh, really etiquette, but I know that I like that beer that much, so I went ahead and got a du- I doubled up on the puff. That is what I'm trying to say. And I got so Masthead out of Cleveland is they've been distributing a lot more around the area, so they have their IPA, and they're one of the um, the fastest, uh, in my opinion, best growing breweries out of the area, and they're in Cleveland right now. So Masthead Brewery, Masthead IPA, that's one of my IPAs in this flight as well. I went ahead and got Alaskan Juno. Um, it's a hoppy pale ale. So that's the new, the new craze of IPAs. The, the trending style right now is hazy IPAs. And they have a hazy uh, pale ale in Alaskan Brewery. Alaskan Brewing Company. I don't know if you can figure out where they're out of. Alaska? Yes. Ala- yeah, exactly. They're not, not actually local. Not local, but out of Alaska. Um, and so some of the other ones, there's a candy stout that I'm excited to try on here. Uh, and they have some, like I had a, a Rheingeist Mosaic uh, Shake IPA. I've been there. Uh, Rheingeist is awesome. They do a lot of really quality, good stuff. Um, we, 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 did, we DJed a wedding there, actually, and... Um, just being inside there, you know, you know how you always try a beer and it's always better when it's there. And you know, you go to Jamaica, you have Red Stripe, it's the best thing you ever had. You go to you go to Canada, you have you have uh, um, Labatt, it's fantastic, right? Because it's right from down the street. Okay, so we were in Rhine Guys for a wedding and we we tasted I don't know ten different types of beer and they were all they were all uniquely incredible. So it, there is something to be said for that, right? In terms of the experience that's being created right now in in and around the city of Akron and Northeast Ohio with all these places that it's really a thing. So we know this, we're part of that phenomenon and you're about to be a big part of it, so. 
Oh, abs- it's a com- complete different experience when you go to the brewery and get their beer fresh. And Akron has been on the cusp of really exploding that and rivaling, rivaling, how do you say that word? Rival to any city in not only Ohio, but across the United States is what they're going with the Akron Brewing District. And so, and real quick, let me just go over that. One of the, the beauty of a flight is so you can see the different styles, you can try different, you see the, the variety, the, the smell, the, the head, the style, how it tastes. So you might see me in the background kind of going through selectively tasting my beers. But, uh, and that's the whole purpose of a flight, not just to, you know, drink your beer as fast as you can possibly drink it, but to taste the differences in the styles, in the breweries, and in, uh, in the different types of beer. And that's the beauty and the art and the craft of craft beer. And like you said, it's getting ready to absolutely explode in Akron, and I'm trying to get my hands on everything that I can just be- because of the community. There, there's some things with the hop and the bean that we're going to get ready to do pretty soon. Okay. And uh, we're going we're gonna to be I mean, already in the talks. And, and the other side of that is the, the coffee, right? And so coffee is a very similar community that they, they build off of the taste, the style. These people craft this drink to taste exactly this way. And, uh, and so, yeah, it's hop and the bean. Be on the lookout. Big things coming very, very soon. Yes! But cashmere cricket, a craft beer drinkers selection i would say all right we're gonna re- reset the set here and uh, let's hear for buzz everybody for making it out tonight yeah. all right we're on live we're still live say something <laughs> talk, 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 talk about the environment here at the cricket go ahead you, you do your thing it's it's, it's definitely thank you what <laughs> it's a mix. It's, it's a, a mix, mix of, of southern and no. <laughs> no. <laughs> on the outside, I, I told you guys I walked past. It's it. a brick building on the outside. It's a brick plane. You know why? They, they hadn't opened the thing yet. No. Did you see it's open now? I didn't. I didn't go out there. It's open now. There's a front that's open. So you walk past. It just looks like a brick building. You walk in, and it's it looks like a nice bar. And then walk into the back. It's this relax. What? Well, it's the typical like a standard bar. But you walk in the back, and it's the typical chop and swizzle effect. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And, and e- 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 there we go. I'm back on. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, as far as live TV goes, our, our transitions weren't the best there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but that's okay. So moving on now to Act Two, right? And and that's the reason that we're here in terms of what we're going to be discussing tonight. And that's summer and f- what? I know. I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I talk too much. We got to learn. This is new to us. Go ahead. Funny thing is, is I talk a lot too. And so yeah, it's I'm really- not. I'm like bite what? my tongue here to try not to over talk Scott. No, no, you can we, talk all you want. We both talk quite the, a bit. Our, uh, our reviews have come in, and everybody likes the show, and, and but they all say I talk too much. So that's a the consistent. The reviews are accurate. That's a consistent accurate, theme. All right. So feel free. Go ahead and go ahead and talk some. So all I was saying, you know, you walk in the back past the bar, and there's this relaxing room yeah. filled with mirrors, very nice decor. Uh oh, what is that? Hello. Hello. So, Horrible turn of events. <laughs> What's that? Horrible. <laughs> this is the extra. They gave me every drop. What is it? So this is a chocolate martini. All right. Dark, take a look at that guy. Dark I'm chocolate holding. with raspberry drizzle. Try- I'm trying to hold it up. We see that guy. It is amazing. It is in this shot right now. Okay, I lost my headset, but that's okay. You guys see that? That's a. Am I doing it right? It's a, this is the raspberry one, right? Yes. Raspberry chocolate martini. Cho- and they give you options too. You can get white chocolate. You can get strawberry, but dark chocolate. And Kate, Kate's drinking it too tonight. <laughs> All right. She may have had a couple. Okay. <laughs> should we? Should we? Let's move on. All right. Let's go to act two. Can I? Yeah. Can I? And may I run my show now? You may run it. All right. I'll, I'll. <laughs> All right. So here we go, folks. Talking about our main topic tonight, and that's our summer and fun foods. By <laughs> summer and fun festivals. Uh, speaking of, by the way, uh, one more shout out to LaBelle's for hosting us last week. Uh, that show was awesome. Uh, we got a chance to meet Charles, the owner, and I believe it was Tom. Tom did uh, Buzz Buzz's cut, and uh, you can see Buzz. Buzz usually wears a hat when he's doing the Buzz around town, but he wanted to show off his LaBelle's do. So make sure you check out, make sure you check out LaBelle's, right? All right. So these are in no particular order, and it, and it, it's funny because I sent the script over to Dina, and she was cringing because I put them all in in no order whatsoever, and she was like, the "Shouldn't they all be all in over. date order?" They're so not in all right, order the, fir- <laughs> the first 
<coughs> we've talked about the fourth Friday, so I'll just kind of eliminate. Well, first of all, let's give a let's give a not a moment of silence, but let's at least acknowledge that we just missed a biggie, and that's the Cherry Blossom Festival we did. in Barberton. Now, if you've never been to the Cherry Blossom Festival, just put it on your list of things to do for next year. It is, what's the word I want to use? Let's just say unique. <laughs> that's a good word. I'll, uh, it's unique. Uh, the Cherry Blossom Festival, it, 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 what it does is it, it, it celebrates the diversity of humanity. How's that? That sound good? That was good. That's fair enough. All right. I feel like so, that Cherry Blossom Festival, that's out there, and that's already over with. So we're moving on. Uh, fourth Friday is every uh, fourth Friday in Barberton. And the, the first Friday is the first Fridays in Wadsworth. So Wadsworth does the same thing that Barberton does now. They do theirs down on the square as well. Yeah. And all those businesses, uh, you know, are open late, and they will uh, provide all kinds of fun stuff to do. So check that out. There's one. Okay, Valley City. Valley City does a frog jump. Okay, and you take the kids down, I believe it's toward the end of May, early June, and what you do is you can either bring BYOF, <laughs> you bring your own frog, or you can actually rent one. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You can rent you a can frog? You can rent a frog. So they have a pen of frogs. They got frogs all over the place. Do I get to pick the frog You get that to I pick rent? the frog. Yeah. Horrible the, turn of So events. there's a bin they of frogs. Sold this event to you me. can rent the frogs for your kids, and then they are... Then for the you have, kids, can I? Can you can I? do it too, yeah. But the point is, it, it's a frog jump. like Literally like a start and finish line and the whole deal. So you got to... How race. do they mark my frog to know which one wins? I have no idea. I'm assuming they wear like little frog jockeys, like little, little pennies. I would assume there's got to be something they put on it, right? Like a little uni. <laughs> I, I'm speechless at this point. <laughs> we, need, we need we need to investigate further. I, we need to do Valley a City there. Frog Jump. The Valley City Frog Jump. So look that up. Uh, Rock the Docks. That's what. Um, what did I call it before? I called it. Right. It used to be rocking on the river. Okay. Yeah. Now it's Rock the Docks because all these places have their their stuff now. So it's the same thing, and I believe it's every roughly every Friday. It's every Friday, and they yeah. have theme nights. Yeah, Italian festivals so make sure you check. That. Yeah, and I got those coming up. So check out Rock the Docks here in the falls. We already talked about Cherry Blossom Festival. Uh, Brunswick does their summer days, so make sure you check into that. I believe that's uh, toward the end of June, and then the River City Pop Culture Fest again is here, uh, isn't it? Or is it is it Rocky River? I can't. I don't remember. So, I don't know so, about so, that one. All right. So those were my that. those were my ones that were generic. Okay. So now we can get more specifics. Everybody, if you've never been to, hey, look, Mark just joined us, friend of show from Missing Falls Brewery. Mark, we just announced Buzz is back here, and he's going to be starting doing something special with Hop and Beans. So make sure you keep your eyes out open for that. Um, rib White and Blue. Okay, now Rib White and Blue is the name of the Rib Festival. Yeah. Downtown Akron. I think we've all been there. We've all been there. It's fantastic. It starts June 29th and runs through July 4th. Uh, this year, what, you, you're pointing at me? This year, me and Moon Man and whoever else is going to join us are going to head down and we're actually going to walk through, interview some of those folks. you got to stop every single one of them. So the goal is to try some ribs, go through, uh, say hi to everybody, and then when we're done, go jump in your pool. I mean, that's the plan. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm just What? Did somebody forget to tell you the plan? <laughs> All right, so that's that, that's July. That show will be on July 3rd, so we will bring you the Rib White and Blue Festival. Next 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 one that you brought up, right? It's right down here as well. It's it's not, this the is Italian festival. But it's more North Hill than it's Cog Falls for the it most is. part. That one's not. Um Italian festivals North North Hill, they have the Irish festival which Cog Falls does. That's it's coming hard. up. So, so ahead. The Italian uh, they are in order. <laughs> Wow. Seriously? <laughs> God bless it. This is going to be interesting. All right. So, a whole new perspective when you add a girl to the show. Oh, my gosh. The Italian, Italian American Festival is July 12th through the 14th. You can find that at it-am.org. Then there's the African, I'm going to say this right, African American Cultural Association Festival. That's a long name for a festival. African American Cultural Association Festival. That's July 21st and 22nd. And you can find that at AkronAfricanCulture.com. I believe it's affiliated with the arts and also with the libraries as well. Yeah, the um, Akron um, Art Museum in Akron does a lot with that festival. Like, they have an entire exhibit and everything. I lost my headset. Um, so, oh, there it was. Uh, Calm down, baby. Earth, okay, you ready for this? Earthquaker Day 
is exactly like what it says. Please tell me more. Okay, so <laughs> I, I'm, I, the guys at PLX would love this. It's on August 4th, and it's big boomers and heavy metal. It's a heavy metal like rock concert day. It's called, and you can find it at earthquakerdevices.com. In addition, I don't know, have you ever seen Moon Man, the, 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 base, the base vehicles? The base vehicles, you know what I'm talking about? So they, they, these guys, there's a whole competition circuit out there where no. guys will buy a minivan or a truck or whatever, and it's one speaker that creates one note, and it's and it's bass. It's all bass, okay? And yeah, yeah, Laurel, Laurel, all right? The point is, it's t completely, I lost it again. It's completely designed. Well, what, what am I doing, man? I hear you. It's on your end. Okay, I'll keep talking, but I can't hear me. All right, so we all can't. Don't worry. There we go. All right, so the point is, Earthquaker Day, right? It's uh, it's big boomers and heavy metal, um, and 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 it's a, it's an actual festival, August fourth. Uh, next is the Taste of Iron. Oh no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> this I call can this. I add one? Yeah, yeah right there, because the date when yeah. you get yourself situated. Yeah. So that's August fourth, and I like to go in order. We have <laughs> Copley. I'm from Copley. We have a Heritage Day that's pretty big. It goes through all Copley and Fairlawn. They have kids' activities at the middle school. It's all free. They do a historical um, festival and parade and all that on the circle. Um, so that is August 4th as well. Okay, so um, I, this next one is like the hippie festival, okay? I, yeah. It's the Signal Tree Festival. And you know where the Signal Tree is? It's down in Cascade Park, right? Yeah. Down, down in, it's kind of like Cuyahoga Falls in the valley area-ish. Um, that's August 11th, and they have they have food trucks there. They got different food. They got music and culture, and it's like very, very earthy. Hug a tree. That's a good good word, Kate. Earthy it's tips. earthy. Okay. Um, Taste Ireland, August 17th through the 18th. That's at Lock Three, and the Blues and Brews is August 25th. <coughs> that's at Lock Three as well. He's uh, Buzz he Buzz excited about that. It's at Lock Three. <coughs> Rubber City Jazz and Blues Festival. That's August 23rd through the 26th. That's at venues all over Akron. So make sure you check that out, folks. Um, what, what happened? Hi, guys. You're live on the air. Say hi. <laughs> all right. So Oktoberfest, again, uh, for Buzz. That's October 5th through the 6th at Lock 3, and that's all the German fairs. So it's German beer, German food, German, German, German. And I get to wear my Lederhosen. Right? Is that how you say it? Le Le yeah. <laughs> we might have I heard, to catch that on air. I heard Yanni on that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, 97.5 WONE, the Rock Rock the Lock. They have their Rock the Lock program awesome. all summer long. So, and, 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 and uh, in tandem with that, we and that's why we love our neighborhood, right? There's summer concerts at all the local parks all over town. Each day of the week is a different uh, local park that's highlighted. Mm -hmm. our, our, our very own Hardesty Park that we broadcast over the top of kicks off their summer music tour uh, starting on June 11th, and that runs all through the summer. So make sure you check out. Uh, you go to the Akron sites, uh, akronohio.org, I believe. And that's Monday nights, right? Yeah, Hardesty that's Monday, Monday for Monday Hardesty. Nights. But every every night is a different park. I'm over on the other side, so I'm Copley Farrell on ours are Sunday night. There you go. So yeah, Those are right in the little gazebo area, right? Yeah. yeah my dad always likes to do uh, Class of 57 goes out there a lot. We're trying to step it up a little bit. You're going to raise, gonna raise the age? You're going to raise the age, gonna gonna raise really, the age now a little bit? We're trying. We're trying. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, the Akron Pet Expo, um, that's coming up on June 2nd at Hardesty Park. Um, so, first of all, I believe that Dina will have a booth there. I will. What's, I will. What, go ahead and pub your other business. So, I actually have several reasons to be there. Go um, for it. I will. I opened a business 11 years ago, so a little backstory. I am actually a lead surgical vet tech. And so, I opened a business 11 years ago as a pet sitter um, in my home. So, it's a great alternative to a kennel. So, I will have Wags to Whiskers there I'm sponsoring the Pet Expo. And then I also help with several of the rescues. So AJ Search and Rescue, Paul's and Prayers. Um, we'll have a little bit at all of those tables. So it's awesome what they do. Um, radio station, fun day, tons of activities for kids. Adopt, come out, adopt a puppy, kitty. So raising the bar this year. <clears throat> in addition, friend of show Ashley. Yes, Moses Ashley will be there. Weiss. Uh, Ashley has now started. It, it's interesting, right? Because she's got a journey as well, and you can look up her journey. But she was on our show, and, and she said things. She said some things. Yeah. 
<laughs> she said good things. We're not bringing that up. Well, no, she said good things, and then the Akron, uh, you know, the Akron uh, Animal Protection also said some things back, right? Which is fine. It's all good. But it has inspired her, and she was on her journey, and that was part of her journey. But she has now opened up her own rescue. And what, yes. you remember, what's it called? Do you remember the name of it? Huh? P- Pities and Kitties. No, she was working at Pities and Kitties. There. She was yeah, helping she them. Opened but her own. hers is her own new one. So if you want to look that up real quick. I do think um, she's, her table is two down from mine. So oh, that's cool. Right in between Pities and Kitties and whatever. I can't remember. All right, so here's our horror story about the Akron Pet Expo, right? <clears throat> so so we, we, <clears throat> we got all these babies. And we, <clears throat> we, had, we had just had Wyatt. So Wyatt was what? Two weeks old, maybe, roughly, when we went over there. No, he wasn't born yet. He wasn't born yet. That's right. So Wyatt was like a week or two away, and we go to the pet expo, and then, you know, the baby's born, and at that point, I had had my phone. At the pet expo? No, no. <laughs> Not at the pet expo. Not at the pet expo. So Wyatt's born a couple weeks. So when was the pet expo? It was probably the same weekend, right? It's, Which it's is, always the first Saturday of June. All right. So the second Saturday of June, roughly, Wyatt was born, right? Because I had to DJ that day. It was a wedding day. Yep. So point being... I had been carrying my phone on me during the whole last trimester part, you know, in case I have to go take her to do the thing when it's time, right? Well, now the baby's born and everything's fine and everybody's cool. And so I let, took my, I go to softball and I'm playing softball and I left my phone in the truck. Okay. And I get back to the truck after softball, which is only an hour and a half game, right? And I've got 68 missed phone calls on my phone. So I'm like, oh. I'm like freaking out. I'm like, what's going on, right? So we go and we're and I, I rush home and it's it's Sierra. Sierra's got this thing right, and Sierra's got something on her neck and it's just this big like goiter looking thing that's sticking out the side of her head, right? And 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 Doctor Emily from church. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So we run into her at the ER and everything, and and it ended up being they had to do all these tests and they had to treat her like it was cancer and all this crazy stuff and do MRIs and CAT scans and all this crazy stuff, right? This kid is a year and a half old. It ends up being cat scratch fever. Which is not just a bad song. It's an actual real thing. It's a real thing. Okay. It is. Well, I just <clears throat> never heard of a case that bad. Well, no. So, so we didn't know because they're like, they're, they kept asking us. The first question asked us when we went to, went to the ER is, do you have a cat? We're like, no. It's dead. Died like a year ago. Well, do you have a cat? No. We don't have a cat. Everybody's asking, do you have a cat? No, we don't have a cat. She got nicked by a kitty at the expo. at the pet expo because she was sticking her hands into all the cats, you know, and saying hi and everything. And, and she must have gotten nicked. And so she ended up with cat scratch fever. So they had to treat her for all this rare Disclaimer, Brazilian. that does not mean don't come to the pet expo. <laughs> no, the no, pet no. expo is an amazing event. No, no, you still go, still go, still <laughs> The, obviously, do not yes. let your children. Uh, yeah, don't don't your want don't let cats. your kids be unattended around cats. That's what the moral of that story is. All right, so you then do it live. <laughs> lock the okay. So the the lock bottom blues and jazz. So here's what's neat, right? So you got lock three and lock four. People okay. don't realize that. No. So lock three is the big canal place area that's wide open with the amphitheater pavilion, and you can go down there for all the different types of music throughout the course of the, of yes. the year. I believe most of those are on Friday nights, right? I think. All, most of them are. I think right. they're on Friday, they Saturday. Sometimes yep. we'll have something on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But then right above that, you go you go under the bridge, around the corner, and up. And there's lock four. And lock four, you'll see Yoli, friend of show Yoli. Uh, Yoli Miller will always go live from over there. It's They do lock bottom blues and jazz. So that whole corner is all dedicated to blues and jazz music all summer long. It runs from July 18th through August 29th, and it's from 7 to 9 p.m. And Is again, I think it's nightly thing I think it's I think it's Fridays and Saturdays, and it's alternating okay. with the other stuff. So a lot of times they'll be going on together concurrently. Uh, that's how about that word concurrently? Yeah, it's a good word. All right. So anyway, the point is, <laughs> the more you know. The point is that, you, that there's that tandem that takes place there too. Um, but most people don't know about like lock four because I didn't know about it till about a year or two it's ago. It's cute and it's quaint. It's mm-hmm. smaller. Yeah. Much more. The word would be it's a much more intimate venue and setting. How's that? That was good. All right, sweet. Um, The next one is uh, a a fan favorite. Um, It's (laughs) Elevate Akron Yoga. So you can actually go down to Lock 3 on July 19th and do yoga for free. Bring your yoga mat, right? You can bring, I I don't. Do do they, do they, do they do mats? 
Yeah, you can bring your own mat. BYOM? I saw, I saw an advertisement. So one's B- I have not BYOF? BYOM. Go ahead. Go for it. Tell, tell I us. I have not been there. I just had read the advertisement. I'm just thinking. I'm not the yoga type. And I, I'll be honest. I, I, I'm not trying to be mean here, but how many? What? <laughs> We're being told to stop. How many? No. How many dudes are in the crowd, do you think? For, I don't know. In the crowd? Like at, yoga, at the Bruh. yoga thing. Um, <laughs> Should I say that on live TV? <laughs> no, no, I'm just thinking. Because if I'm sure there's quite a crowd outside that fence. But uh, yeah, that's my point. In terms of it, fence, being a I'm part of the yoga versus watching the yoga. You know what I mean? All right. That's, 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 right. <laughs> next, next is the Agri Marathon Run the Blue Line. That's September 29th. So if you haven't started training, you're already three months too late. But the point is that you can still be a part of the relay teams. You can make sure it's a great event. The blue line runs right by Hardesty Park, and we always go out and we cheer. I don't run, but I hand out, I hand out water and donuts. <laughs> and our, our entire you, hand, you hand out donuts to the runners. Our, no, our entire, our entire neighborhood gets together and has, like, breakfast. So okay. they do, like, donuts, and they, they make, like, quiches and, and the, the, the egg stuff, you know, egg Quiche. Souffle, Quiche. souffles, right? Is that what it's called or whatever? Is that right? Those are the right words, right? Yeah. Quiche, yeah, I souffle, think- yeah. Breakfast stuff. So everybody just kind of hangs out. They got mimosas. Notice <laughs> how he went from donuts to quiche. <laughs> well, nice recovery. But it's all together, right? And they get, they do mimosas and the whole deal. Um, but that's September 29th, and, and you could be a part of that too. Uh, Halloween Dog Festival. Tell us about it. Have you done that? I did it years ago. Um, they had it down in the Merriman Park Dog Park. I don't know if they still do that down in the valley. They just had all the dogs dress up in costumes and had the rescues out, but that was years ago. And that's October 13th, and that's at the Akron Dog Park. Um, down in Merriman. And that's down in Merriman. Yeah. Uh, it, it, they so have contests for the best dressed dog. My dog is named. My dog is named. We, we, we've highlighted this before on the show. He's a one of a kind pet, uh, and that's Hankster, right? And Hank. Hank, uh, Hank hates, hates everybody. <laughs> Hank, Hank hates people. Hank hates dogs. He does not hate Hank hates all anything that moves outside of his perimeter. But it's funny. A stranger can walk into our house while we're all there, and he'll run up to them and lick, lick and bark and do all that, but he won't do anything to them. So in other words, if you're outside of his little space, he, will, he wants to kill you. But as soon as you walk in... So it's opposite. Then. It's completely weird, right? Because, because he's he like not a guard dog. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a loud... Uh, Noisemaker, but he doesn't. Here's my issue with Hank. Yeah. If I'm anywhere he doesn't want me, he just moves me. Yes. Like yes. if I'm sitting in a chair, he'll just move the chair. He's a master of. I'm not where he wants me he, to be. He's a master of butt relocation. Yeah. Like he just kind of does the little waggle and scoots on in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so a big highlight for us always every year for the city of Akron is right in our own neighborhood, and that's the Taste of Akron, uh, the beer and wine tasting, the Akron Arts Expo. That, once again, is in the last week of July. That's July 26th through 29th. That's going to be at Hardesty Park. We're going to try and go live every day for that, uh, with or without Moon Man. So I'm pretty sure that we'll be... <laughs> he is learning what? so he much was, tonight. He was totally zoning out. <laughs> so um, <laughs> point being, uh, we're at least going to go... We'll, you'll be there for a taste of Akron, right? For sure. That's our typical Thursday night, whatever. And then... Then the wine and beer tasting. Our show is on Wednesday night. We're doing a th- we'll do a Thursday for that one, okay? So that that's Taste of Akron. That's July 26th, okay? Don't be right next down. Just check our calendar. I already put them all up in the, in the thing. So 27th is then the um, the beer and wine tasting, which I'll probably just walk around and get some interviews for that, and you don't have to be there for that. But then the, the last part's the Akron Art Expo, and people come, we'll from, all, people come from all over the country uh, and bring their art to sell. Yeah. It's a big deal, so... And it's a lot of money. I mean, it's all day, it it's all all day, day. Saturday, there all day, people, Sunday. You'll see them start pulling their trailers in, unloading everything. Oh, yeah. Food trucks. Lots of food trucks. All right. So that's, uh, that's, that's that. And then Heinz Pole uh, Summer Dance Festival. There's going to be a different uh, Akron locations. Uh, you'll find that, um, you'll find that uh, up on their website. Uh, and, then, and then the last event of the year at Hardesty is the Akron Pride Festival for the LGBTQ community. So that's also there as well. And then um, you, you probably know more about Yankee Peddler than I do. Have you been there? Nope. Isn't it down at like uh, uh, Clay's Park? It's at Clay's Park, right? 
It is at Clay's Park. They do a shortened version of it at Hale Farm, but okay. the actual festival is at Clay's Park. I've okay. never been there. Well, and, and <laughs> we always catch grief on the show for highlighting Akron, 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 and we always neglect Canton, okay? Canton's like our, our, our stepsister. But the, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the point is uh, that is a, a, a big Canton event, as Yankee Pelican. It is. Pelley, it is. So, <laughs> so <laughs> all right. Now, I'm gonna, <laughs> she's here tonight. I'm going to embarrass her. I'm going to walk off the script again. You ready to do the thing? Just, just, just do the, the – you could just turn it and zoom, I guess. All right, I'm walking around. All right, so, okay. Yeah, so we got a special guest tonight. Uh, she was at our Chop and Swizzle show, and that is Christina. <laughs> so, Christina, when, when, when last you checked in with us, you were running for office – and I believe something has happened since then. So the election was in May? It's May 9th. May 9th. And what happened? I won! Yeah. <laughs> Tell our audience, what is your role now? What, in terms of, you're going to be serving the community. Be specific. So which community? What do you do? What are you going to be? How, how are you going to serve the community? What's the, what's the whole thing? Um, actually, my title is 27th State Committee Woman for the Democratic Party, and I represent Summit, Stark, Wayne, and Northern Tuscarawas County. Okay. And what I will be doing is, actually, I represent the Technical difficulty. Do you want this? Do you want this mic? No, no. Just keep talking. Keep talking. Here, just take this one. Well, there's the battery. Right there. All right. Will, 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 will it go that far? All right. So yeah, technical difficulties. Real quick, we'll be right back with you. We're just. <laughs> we're just. Uh, <laughs> this is live TV, baby. Yeah, it's best. You never know when batteries are gonna die. Uh, go ahead and flip it on. Here. All right, just a moment. We lost the batteries in the mic. We'll do it live. All right, test it. Are we on? Check, check. There we go. All right, there you it go. It was a battery issue. How about that? Uh. All right, so here we go. Uh, and we were, you were telling us your thing. So go, go back. I heard, I heard Summit, Wayne, Stark, and Northern Tusk. Okay. Correct. And what I will be doing is serving those counties, um, representing the Democrats in those counties, um, as well as endorsing candidates, um, going over the bylaws for the Democratic Party, and just serving as a representative in those counties. Okay. So when you go, where, do you have to go to meetings? Do you have to go, do you have to go to meetings? Do you have to go places? Do you have to do stuff? What, what's, the, what's the schedule like for something like that? Okay. Um, actually, I will be attending city council meetings in all of those counties as well as doing a lot of public advocacy work in those counties as well. And a lot of trips to Columbus are involved with that. Okay. Um, I'm involved with a lot of programs right now. Okay. Also, um, community work as well. Okay. Uh, let's hear it live for Christina Lynn Shaw, everybody. Congratulations. Thank you for stopping out tonight. Yay. All right, we're coming back here now. That was <laughs> it was interesting. Live TV, man. <laughs> oh, batteries. Sometimes batteries are fantastic. All right, so we got maybe five to ten minutes to finish this thing up, right? So here we are. We are right where I knew we would be. You did predict this. I, I did. Have, I hate to say you were right. I and did I predict this. I did often. predict this. And it, it, here's the thing, okay? When when you've been doing this as long as we have in terms of in life and watching sports, right? You, you just know that you, we, we live through Jordan and it's interesting because we did a keynote speech at a, at an IOT convention a, a few weeks ago. Um, my boss did so. And in his speech, he talked about how he grew up in Chicago and then moved and, you know, married a gal from Ohio and then lives here now in Ohio, and, and so he, growing up, he got to experience all the Jordan years 
as a kid, and now here he is as an adult enjoying and experiencing the LeBron years. So he literally has had the best of both worlds of number 23. Yes. And you know the, the, the debate now rages on as to who the GOAT is, and we all know the answer to that question. <gasps> we'll, we'll, get it, we'll get into that some other show. But right now, here we are. We're right where I knew we would be, and the reason is because of those players. When you have a – those are – the word I'm going to use is transcendent. Transcendent. We have transcendent players. So – you got look, look, uh, Jordan was a transcendent player in the NBA, and LeBron is a transcendent player. They they literally can impose their will on a game and on a series, especially when you get to the playoffs because things tighten up, right? You shorten that bench, you shorten that rotation. So here we're at game five tonight. It's important uh, that they weather the early storm. I'm thinking Boston's going to come out with some early haymakers, um, and as long as we can weather that storm, and to me it all comes down to three players. We know we're going to get out of LeBron, and it's funny because yeah. we, we're taking a, we're taking a thirty and forty point games. We're taking for granted now, um, but that's what he's doing, right? He's in the prime of his career, and he's he's making it happen. Oh, I just saw. I, I think I did. I just see a yeah. chef. Did I just see a chef sit down behind me? We'll get it. We'll get his take in a minute. <laughs> all right. So to me, it all comes down to three players. All right. We, we're we're going to get a consistent game out of Tristan. We know that. We, yeah. He's good for. 10 points, 15 rebounds every time, okay? Love is a swing man. He goes from 10 to 20 to 30, depending on how he's feeling that day. But he's always good for Gives us 5 to 10 assists yeah. and probably 10 to 15 rebounds. You, you know what you're going to get out of those two guys. It comes down to Corver, Smith, and Hill. Did you see him last night, by the way? Who? Corver. Number 37-year-old? Uh, number 37-year-old? Number 37-year-old. Well, they they brought that up today. It was on RBS or one of those shows I was listening to about Corver's thirty seven, and he outran a twenty two year old and a twenty five year old to die for a loose ball and got to it first. Yeah, no, he his game last out hustled. Okay, so Corver Smith and Hill, and, and and to me, I've been I've been learning this stupid Twitter thing over the last six months, and I tweeted, and 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 <laughs> <laughs> did I just air quote my tweets? You did. <laughs> I tweeted, and and Bruh. it was to me that the entire series comes down to the success, and this is so weird to even say out loud, of George Hill. When George Hill plays well, the Cavs play well. You know what you're going to get out of LeBron every, every night. He, he's gonna get a, get a consistent effort, you know. When he knows we're getting our tail whipped, he'll take the rest of the night off, and we yeah. know that too. Okay, but and by the way, speaking of a little side note, is Larry Nance. I mean, Larry Nance has kind of found his own in the last couple of games too. But George Hill is the key to everything right now. It's amazing to me because nobody like has he ever penned that as the as the primary cause of the engine of the Cavs. But having that point guard that actually does point guard things is making all the difference in the world right now. So, all right, I'm going to take the mic back. You keep talking. Uh, here we go with live TV again. But I see oh Chef. Chef is back there on the couch. We're going to go talk. I'm going to go talk to him. So, what, give us your – I just talked a lot, and we know that we're going to be talking over each other moving. What's your take? Let's – oh, <laughs> let's hear it from a woman. Oh, this here we go. Definitely not on the script <laughs> Go all. for it. Go I for it. just pull a Scott and just go like this. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Oh. Still not very good at this whole Hank thing. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Don't, right. Not using first names. All right. Half the time, I don't even know what my name is on this set. So. All right. So, folks, here we are. Once again, as a reminder, we're at the Cashmere Cricket right now. And it, it's interesting because we talked about this earlier that the cricket is in a collaboration with Chop and Swizzle. So, so the bar is run by the Cashmere Cricket, and it's Jimmy. So you ever, if you ever uh, come down to the cricket, Jimmy's running around somewhere. Make sure you say hi to Jimmy and tell him Hank, Hank sent you. Um, but right now, uh, you've, you've seen his name a lot on our posts. You've seen his food a lot on our posts. And his food has been a lot in our belly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all fantastic. <laughs> so without further ado, we're gonna I'm gonna turn the mic over, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, city of Akron, uh, city of Canton, uh, city of Green, uh, city of Cuyahoga Falls. I'd like to introduce you to Chef Dick. Let's have a big round of applause for Chef. <laughs> all right. So right now I'm gonna I'm gonna hand the mic over to you, Chef, and and I want you to tell you tell us. Uh, here's what I want to know, and it's the same the same thing I went through with the food trucks. Okay. 
tell us your Akron story, you know, the, tell us your Akron story and your passion for the area, for the city of Akron. And then also go into, you know, how, where your kitchens are, how you like to run them, what kind of food you do, all that kind of stuff. So just give us the spiel, okay? Perfect. Perfect. All right, so right now, uh, Akron story. Um, born and raised in Akron, Ohio. Uh, a little in the Portage Lakes, a little in West Akron, between mom and dad. So shout out to mom and dad. Uh, I did the whole LeBron thing, moved to Florida for a little bit. Uh, Clearwater, Florida, opened some restaurants down there. Uh, came back here, uh, went to Cleveland, worked at Greenhouse Tavern, Noodle Cat. Uh, decided it was time to do something cool for Akron, where I'm from, where I love. Um, so we started Chop and Swizzle. Uh, Chop and Swizzle had an Akron location, but now we have a green location. Um, we're still working on opening the Akron location, so don't give up hope. But green location's pumping. We're down there next to Mench's Brothers, hamburgers and green. 3700 Maslin Road, uh, Tiki Bar Upscale Eatery. We call it a postmodern Tiki Eatery, basically. So you come in, you get your zombie, you get your angry pineapple, you have some nice food, it's a good night. Uh, Kate's Calamity as well. Angry pine, angry. So there's, you can only have two, two angry pineapples. That's it. After that, we cut you off because you don't want more than two angry pineapples. <laughs> uh, same with the zombie, and we also have a misasa. Uh, misasa is actually manager approved, so we have to come over to your table and make sure you are not already overserved before you have this drink because it's that potent. So. Chop and swizzle down there in green. We do a little bit of that. Uh, I also have a kitchen at Howie's on the lakes in Portage Lakes. Uh, Howie's has been there 100 years. Uh, I've been there for two, so not all 100, but uh, same kind of deal as we have at the Cricket. I, I lease the kitchen space. I own the kitchen there. Uh, Eric and Claudia Griffin, they run the bar aspect of that. So it, it's a hot spot on the lakes in the summertime, obviously. Uh, we do crafted burgers, crafted tacos there, some fried food, uh, a little bit of you know dive bar type, type cuisine. Um, and then we have the Cashmere Cricket, where we're at right now. Uh, Calga Falls, Front Street down here. Uh, we do some small bites to kind of go with all their martinis and their craft beer and their wine list. Uh, you can get dinner here, but it's more of like a munchy type place, I would say. I think you guys all had the food. So, I mean, it's, I call it small plates, but our portions are pretty big. So, uh, we just started here two weeks ago. It's going really great. Um, so we're going to be here, you know, for the time being. We're going to do some grills on the patio in the summer. Uh, we do do grills on the patio at Howie's as well in the summer. Um, so, you know, both of those places are, are a cool summer. You know, we have a small patio at Chop and Swizzle Green, but don't, don't forget about us over there. You can come get your nightcap, have your angry pineapple, your misasa. Uh, but all, play, all three places have different menus, so you get a little different experience at each place with the cuisine as well as the drinks and cocktails. Um, you know, like I said, we're more tiki at, at Chop and Swizzle Green, where here you can get your martinis, you can get your uh, other crafted cocktails at, at the Cashmere Cricket. Plus, they focus a lot on their craft beer. And then at Howie's, you know, we have our Howie's Buckets, which is basically a bucket full of liquor uh, that you can get right off your boat, have that, get back on your boat and have a good time. Uh, at, at craft beers as well are big there, too. We do a lot with local breweries. Um, so, you know... All, all three places, great summer choices. I know this is a summer show, so it, 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 all three are, are great for the summer. Come down and see us for sure. So uh, we <clears throat> we hadn't had a date. It would have been it had been like two years or whatever because we we're doing so many weddings. We're doing so many weddings uh, throughout the course of the year that we just hadn't had a date. So it was May, right? May twenty second, third of last year. And we were doing a uh, uplighting at Stan Hewitt Hall, and we're like, we'd never been. To, we'd heard of this place, Chop and Swizzle. It was in Akron, right, and it's right, right by St. V there. And, she, and I'm like, we're gonna go try it out. I've heard so much about it. Let's go try it out. <clears throat> so we walk in, and we saw the short plates and all that. And the, uh, like you said, the, the portions were fantastic. Um, but what 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 uh, what was really neat to me was the drinks were, were all like retired. They were all like. They were all like prohibition drinks that had been like resurrected. Like you couldn't get them anywhere else, like in Akron type deal. So to me, that was what really stood out. Um, so what's, I know you're, and I don't want to have a big reveal or anything, but I know you're in the works right now working on some more Akron stuff. So why don't you go ahead and tell us what are some future, don't give the, don't let the cat out of the bag, but give us like some teasers. 
Well, we all love the firehouse uh, where the original Chop and Swizzle was. I still do have that location. Um, I I'm working on doing something fun there, okay. um, as well as hopefully bringing the Chop and Swizzle brand back to Akron. It might not necessarily be at the firehouse, uh, but it will be in the city somewhere, whether it's the west side or downtown. Um, we're, we're looking at a couple locations right now that are super possible. Um, you know, we we reopened green first when we we closed for a little bit for some some unknown reasons. But we reopened green first. Obviously, uh, the community there I think needed something more than the Akron community did at the time. Um, I'm great friends with all the guys from Nuevo and Crave, Blue Plate. Um, you know, the Akron restaurant scene is doing very well, um, and in my opinion, Green, Portage Lakes area needed something else to kind of bring it up to that level. Um, so we went with Green first when it came time to bring the concept back. Um, so now that it's up and it's doing great and, and the community loves it and, and we're happy to do everything we can for all the communities, um, I, I think it's time to bring something back to Akron. Um, like I said, I, I'm a Portage Lakes, west side of Akron kind of guy. I grew up in both areas. I live in west side now. My daughter goes to Firestone High School. Um, I do a lot for the St. V basketball team as well. Uh, Coach Joyce out there. Uh, the, whole, the whole Joyce clan. Um, you know, Two-time two state champs, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Uh, so, you know, my, my Akron love. Let's play, let's play football. Let's play football. No. Open. What? All right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, but the Akron roots, they run really deep, and, I, and I'm missing being around in the city right now. You know, I, I'm very busy. I'm at all my locations every day. So every day you can see me at one or the other or all three, depending on that time of the day. But at me, I used to end my nights running around like a maniac uh, at Akron, at Akron Swizzle. Um, a, it's five minutes from my house, but B, that's where my heart's always been is Akron and the city area. And and my thoughts, obviously, like I said, we opened Chop and Swizzle Akron first, and, and that's what I wanted to do first because at the same time, I, I still, I still I f I feel a need for that in the Akron community. And, you know, we're not just about, hey, come in, get drunk, whatever. You know, it's, it, it was bringing the neighborhoods together, and, and we had communal tables and, and all that. And you can come in, you meet new friends, you get to talk, you get to have conversation. It's not your normal sports bar or, or, or things like that, which, it, you know, here at the Cricket, it's set up that way as well. You know, as you can see throughout the podcast, there's couches, there's tables, there's bigger tables, we have a patio, there's two bars. I mean, we want everyone to get along together and breed that conversation, breed that unity and that togetherness. And, and each spot that we've done that in, I, I think that we've promoted that very well, even at Howie's. I mean, Howie's is the same way. You're getting off your boat, there's a crowd full of people on the patio, everybody's friends, or, or you become friends with everybody. And that's what it's really about, you know. We don't, we don't do this industry to make a million dollars, you know. Most people have a misconception of that, you know. Uh, I, I do this to make people happy, be part of the memories, you know. Each place you come to, you have it, like you said, you needed a date night, you remembered that night, right? And that's the the days I want to be a part of, you know. The anniversaries, the birthdays, the the congratulations, the graduations, all that stuff. You have that special place where you go. And then you allow us to kind of come into your life and be a part of that memory. And you remember that forever. And that's something that, that is very near and dear to my heart. And, that, and that's why I do it. So, All right, very cool. And, and, you know, in working with you, I've worked with you a few times now. And what I, what I like, I think you and I have the same vision in regards to the city of Akron. We, we, there's, there's, there's a lot of pie to go around. Everybody should get a piece. And it's all about collaboration and working together. And for some reason, there are some organizations and, 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 and whatnot that for some reason will just vehemently compete against each other. And that, to me, that's not, what, that's not what this is all about. Hey, Dina, so I'm going to ask you, you ready? Uh, there's no point in making Moon Man, like, keep moving all this stuff all over the place. So why don't we sign off from over here? So grab, grab the clipboard. Grab my clipboard. It's up on top of the speaker there. And come here and join us on the couch. Moon Man, you ready for the exit music? You good? All right. Yeah, come on, right here. Yeah, yeah just sit, sit between me and, me and Chef, all right? All right, so folks, uh, let's have a big round of applause for, for, for Dina Marie over here with her broadcast debut. That went well, <laughs> minus, minus our battery issue. So minus our battery issue. That was my, that's my fault. It's from talking too much, right? All right, so once again, folks, we've had a lot of fun spending some time with you here tonight. Now, 
we got a special show next week. I want you to tune in live next week, and we're going to be live from Chris Gambasini's home in Medina, Ohio. And it's it happens to be a Pinterest palace, like literally every room and everything in there. Do you know? Do you know Chris? Yes. You know. I've seen pictures. All right. I was gonna say, yeah. How do you know her? We we got a story there. Okay. As a mother, a as a mother of eight children, she still manages to run an at-home business while maintaining her sanity and all of their schedules. Wondering why moms want to know how does she do it all? Well, next week you get to tune in live and find out. But here we are from Cashmere Cricket. And until then, don't know where I'm going, but there ain't no sense in being late. Say goodnight, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Bullet oh. to go. Go, this Cash. This is a copyright of Moon Garden Media. Production by Steve Bader. Steve Bader. Thanks, Moon Man. Oh, this is a lot of peanut butter.